What is something you're willing to admit only to a community of total strangers on the internet? I'm subscribed to a bunch of kids on YouTube, not totally random kids. They're my cousin's kids or relatives of my friends. They do serial reviews or unbox kinder surprises or talk about Pokemon Go. Kids pretending to be serious YouTubers. When I'm bored I like to comment on their videos. I get a lot of shoutouts for being a great fan. I'm jealous of my little sister. I have some very severe medical issues that have held me back on pretty much everything in life. I can't work. Can't drive. Can't live on my own so I'm still stuck living at home with my parents. And growing up. I was sheltered a lot due to said issues. My sister is 16 and is just absolutely thriving. She's driving and will be starting her first job this summer. She's starting to choose where she wants to go to collage. She's studying to be a nurse. I love my sister. She's my best friend and I'm so so proud of the young woman she's becoming, but, damn it. I die a little inside every time she reaches a new milestone. She gets to do all these things that I never got the chance to do. She actually has a future ahead of her and I'm trapped because of my stupid medical condition. I feel like the worst sister ever for feeling this way. Pensive face. I am on the fence on whether or not to move away from where I live. But the thought that I very likely can't even financially make that choice until I'm over 40 freaking scares me. Like. I pretty much hate where I live. The biggest thing I hate is the damn lack of basic resources. There's only one cop during weekdays between 7am and 10pm. There's no hospital within two hours. And those hours spend driving increases if you actually want a trustworthy hospital. There's not even a freaking grocery store within 30 minutes. The lack of resources has only gotten worse and worse within the past five years. The hope in bringing in new resources is a lost cause because if you don't suck off the mayor it isn't happening. I'm on the fence about moving away because I worry that the issues I face now will not be any better anywhere else. However. I also feel like in the next 5 to 10 years I really won't have a choice. Because my area is going under and it is going under fast. The longer time moves on. The more everyday life is a freaking struggle. With how, gesturing at everything, things are economically on a national scale. I am also absolutely terrified that I will be trapped and unable to get away when poop finally gives in my area. I didn't actually graduate in the winter like I told everyone I did. I'm still finishing up my credits. I had a bunch of mental and physical health problems within the past two years and I became extremely anxious and paranoid about my schoolwork. So I started just avoiding assignments altogether. I've failed four classes after getting A's and B's my whole life. The only person who knows the truth is my dad. I feel the worst about lying to my boyfriend and I get the urge to tell him but I don't know if I could handle that disappointed look in his eyes. I put up this facade of having everything together and I don't want people to see me struggle and fail. I had a friend named Charlotte. She was rich. And most of her friends were. I was broke and struggling to find a job. Then she got engaged and asked me to be the maid of honor. I was skeptical because I had a very crappy experience with a Bridezilla cousin. But I agreed because she was my friend. She was asking me to pay for 3,000 roses, which were about $1,000. And give $500 for a stupid luxury wedding dress. I gently reminded her, inside the fitting room, that I couldn't afford it. She started being why and asked if I even cared about her. Blabbering on and on about random bull poop. I got weed off and told her that she was being ungrateful and that I was trying my best. But my financial struggles and keeping my house was more important than some fancy rich lady crap. Then I chucked my red wine at her dress to ruin it. I don't know why the shop served it. I've been depressed for pretty much as long as I can remember. And I seriously considered suicide around 10 years ago but I never actually went through with any attempt. So partly because of never actually attempting anything combined with some poor experiences opening up to people close to me around that time about being depressed and wishing I was dead. I feel like some kind of fake that wasn't and isn't depressed enough. As dumb as I know that sounds. I'm in constant doubt that anyone I'm talking to actually cares and wants to listen to me. I'll be talking to my mother. And I'll have to apologize for just talking about myself. My mom is amazing. And I know she wants cares so it isn't her fault. But I just feel so guilty sharing my interests with anyone. It can make me difficult to talk to because I don't say much. My husband died of lung cancer 9 months ago. He battled very hard and survived for 16 months after being told he had 6. I was so proud of him. He was my rock and my true love. But. 
I am not as sad as people assume I should be. A song comes on the radio that he would sing to me, and I will pull over and cry, but I've read other people's accounts, who have lost their partner around the same time as I did and they are crying every day still. I never did that, and to be honest, I feel content in my life. I am not ready ro start dating again, I talk about him like he is still here with me. One of my clients who I see twice a week didn't know for about 6 months what had happened for example. I feel guilty and proud that I am not destroyed by losing my husband, but, frick, I wish he were here with me. I shat my pants at a concert from a fart. I ended up driving home, showering, changing, then ended up getting back to the concert just as it ended to drive friends back home. When they asked where I was I just told them I lost them in the crowd and that the concert was awesome. Thankfully I didn't fart in the car on the way home. I have no will to live. I'm not suicidal, though I have been. I just have no desire to keep living. I see no value in living, and it makes me feel like something is wrong with me. I don't hate being alive, just that the infinite nothing that awaits me sounds so comforting. For My wife has breast cancer. I have to remain positive and upbeat. For her sake, she's going through enough. The chemotherapy is going really well. And the surgeon and oncologist both tell us that the prognosis is good. But. Sometimes in the middle of the night I wake up absolutely terrified. And can't breathe until I hear her move. Intellectually. I know that things will almost certainly be alright. We have great medical care. In a first world country. And the cancerous mass has now shrunk so much it would be near undetectable if we didn't know where it was. But deep down in my monkey brain I am a gibbering simian wanting to lash out at the world. The I don't care that my brother and I don't talk anymore. And the fact that I don't care makes me angry. I miss him because I love him. But. You skip like 9 Christmases in a row last minute. After we arrange things around your schedule. I know you have kids. And that's tough. But frick off. It sucks to know we'll just never be a priority for you. Details about all of my life. As an old woman now. The childhood sexual and physical abuse. Suicide and murder in my family. My drug addictions. The things I did to fund them. Mental health problems throughout my life. Domestic violence throughout my 18-year marriage and having to find the courage to leave it. Finding strength. Excelling at work. Having experienced some wonderful loves. Now it's my terminal illness and disability and pain. I will never meet or converse with the people I share bits with but doing it is twofold. I'm still alive. No matter how horrendous life is. It is always possible to change either it or yourself. Life can still have very beautiful moments or seasons. Even in dark times. Nobody owes you anything. You don't owe anybody anything. Don't quit because of how somebody else sees or treats you. My end is as bloody hard as the rest of my time on this planet. My second reason is purely selfish. I want to put my small thoughts out there. To see some anonymous words on a site that will be forgotten by tomorrow by those that take the time to read them. A bonus is maybe I can offer a little hope, confidence or drive to those that have none. That's it. I am in love with my best friend. Edit, thank you all so much for taking the time to comment and share your own stories on my own humble little comment. I will be going through them today when I get time. Hope everyone is well red heart. Just how insecure I am about myself and how much I care about what other think of me. Edit, thank you for all the support. The funny part is how a lot of the great advice I get here is advice I have given other insecure people before. Somehow it is just so much harder to apply such things to oneself even when we see it in others. I badly need therapy bt don't even know where to start. Edit, guys. I'm just stunned at the amount of response and support this got. To clarify on a few common points across the responses. I have a good job and a healthy portfolio built. So money is not really a problem. What really is a problem is that. I'm from India and although certainly available. Therapy is not really that commonplace here. Also. The reason I think I need therapy is because many times I feel life and our existence in general is pointless, especially when factored in the vastness of the universe, and anything I do slash accomplish in life, is not gonna matter in the long run. I'm definitely not suicidal or anything like that so while heartwarming, those concerns are unfounded. I think I just need some assurance that my life means something. I'll need quite some time to go through all the responses and will definitely look into the apps you have suggested. 
but allow me to express my deepest gratitude to be helped and concerned for like this. Thanks, strangers. I pretend that I don't care about being single, but I really do care. I am jealous of everyone being in relationships to the point it hurts because it makes me think there is something seriously wrong with me. I always feel this odd sense of detachment. And I feel like I have no motivation because I'll never succeed at my goals. I feel like all I do is disappoint or get in people's nerves. I knows it's primarily a self-esteem slash anxiety issue, but it sucks sometimes. I'm afraid to be vulnerable again. Every single person I've opened up to has used it against me. I'm afraid to show romantic interest in the one person I've been romantically interested in for a considerable time, because the last two times I've had romantic interest for anyone, they ruined my life. I crave intimacy with the people I care about. I crave a connection with people, but I'm afraid to establish one because I always get hurt. I've spent so, so long working on myself and trying to be a better person, trying to recognize the patterns, but I'm still afraid to take that step. I'm am in a room with two of my best friends, two people that I know would love me through anything, and I'm still afraid to be myself. I don't know what to do. I'm lonely. I feel so alone, because I can't just trust anyone anymore. I just want love, and I feel like I can't have it. I wear my heart on my sleeve. People take advantage of that, sometimes. It's wearing down on me, and all of the progress I've made on myself feels like it's been for nothing.